And what am I worried about? Uh, I'm worried about as uh, ultraviolet uh, radiation. So I have a watermelon salad. Turns out that watermelon contains lycopene, and this lycopene, if you have it before you're um, exposed to bright sunlight, can protect your DNA from ultraviolet light damage. It's really awesome. Um, having some tomato juice is good too, but look at, look at this. Um, I'm in a tropical place. Might as well have some watermelon salad. It's got a little bit of um, red onion sliced into there. Super simple, super delicious. Wow, wasn't that a fascinating insight from Dr. William Lee? Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. It's incredible to think that something as simple and refreshing as watermelon can offer such powerful protection against UV rays. Seeing Dr. Lee enjoy that delicious watermelon salad on the beautiful tropical beach really brings home the point of how nature's bounty can be both enjoyable and beneficial for our health. Watermelon. For those who may not know, Dr. William Lee is a world-renowned physician, scientist, and author known for his cutting-edge research on the impact of diet on health. His work has significantly advanced our understanding of how certain foods can boost our body's natural defense mechanisms. One of his areas of focus has been skin health, uncovering how specific nutrients and foods can help protect our skin from damage, slow down aging, and even protect against various skin conditions. Dr. Lee's research has shown that watermelon, rich in lycopene, acts as a natural sunscreen, protecting our skin from harmful UV rays and promoting overall skin health. This is just one of the many ways Dr. Lee is helping us understand how we can harness the power of everyday foods to improve our health and well-being. But the journey doesn't end with watermelon. Dr. Lee, author of the book Eat to Beat Disease, has delved into hundreds of foods and their profound impact on health. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Well, it turns out that tr people who are sticking more to a traditional Mediterranean cuisine, that they actually had lower uh, psoriasis severity scores. These lower psoriasis severity scores result from eating a healthy diet. Dr. Lee has explored the remarkable skin-protecting properties of another everyday food, extra virgin olive oil, or ivu. Known for its rich content of antioxidants and healthy fats, Ivu is a staple in many diets around the world, and for good reason. In the next section, Dr. Lee will delve into how Ivu can help protect your skin, keeping it healthy and youthful. So, let's join Dr. Lee once again as he takes us through the science behind Ivu and its benefits for our skin. Whether you're looking to enhance your diet for better health or seeking natural ways to protect your skin, Dr. Lee's insights are invaluable. Stay tuned to discover more about how this amazing oil can be a game changer for your skin health. And specifically, they were able to nail it down to two foods that seem to make the most difference. And one is extra virgin olive oil. So EVOO, right? That's the stuff that we know is good for our salad dressing, good to dip your bread in. Well, probably not if you have psoriasis, be careful about that gluten, gluten-free bread. Gluten-free bread, um, yeah. <laughs> um, Now, what's in extra virgin olive oil? turns out that there are lots of polyphenols. One of them is called hydroxytyrosol, and it is found in high abundance in certain types of olive oil. So there's three olives, types of olives, varietals of olives that have the highest levels. What are those three? Well, in Greek olives, it's called the Koroneki olive, Spanish olives, uh, which is called the Picual olive, and in Italian has the Moriolo olive, it's from Umbria. These three um, varieties of olives, they have the highest potency of the hydroxytyrosol, polyphenol. So when I buy olive oil, tip for, for, for you guys, is really to, um, you know, you go to the, you go to the grocery store, you go, you know, and they, you pick up your, your usual olive oil, right? Sometimes people say, well, I'm going to look for one that looks green. Good idea. Make sure it's extra virgin. What I'm going to ask you to do is to uh, challenge you to do is to take that one extra step and pick it up and look on the label for the variety of olives. And, you, and look for the mono varietal because now you know that it, it's only made with those super powerful varietals. So the good news, Koroneki um, uh, olives, Greek olives, pretty easy to find, that kind of olive oil. Picuau, most common olive used for Spanish olive oil. Um, so you can actually find all of those easy. The more oil, a little bit harder to find. Anyway, you can search on the internet and you can just have order this stuff. That is actually a great way to use olive oil. That was an enlightening segment on extra virgin olive oil. 
Dr. William Lee's deep dive into the three types of olives to look for when choosing a vue was truly eye-opening. It's incredible how selecting the right olives can enhance the quality and benefits of the oil we use daily. Evu, rich in antioxidants and healthy fats, is a powerful ally in our quest for better skin health. Olive oil. <laughs> now, as we continue this journey into foods that protect and nourish our skin, we turn our attention to another essential component, omega-3 fatty acids. These incredible nutrients found abundantly in certain types of seafood are renowned for their skin-protecting properties. Omega-3s help maintain skin hydration, reduce inflammation, and even protect against sun damage. But for those who follow a vegan diet, there are also plant-based options that can provide these vital nutrients. In the next section, Dr. Lee will guide us through the best sources of omega-3s, both from seafood and vegan alternatives, and explain how incorporating them into our diet can lead to healthier, more resilient skin. Let's dive in and discover the wonders of omega-3s for our skin health. Now, what about seafood? Seafood is the other thing, food that was found to lower the severity of psoriasis scores in the Mediterranean diet. So what's in seafood? Well, I, I will tell you that here's, you know, for people who don't eat seafood, I, I, I'll tell you, tell you, at the end of the day, it's still a plant-based food benefit because the algae and plankton that the fish eat that's found in seafood or shellfish actually comes from a plant. So. Um, uh, so, but they're, they're these, these are the omega-3 fatty acids. So they talk about oily fish, right? Uh, you talk about your um, salmon and your anchovies and your sardines, but actually many people don't know that there's a lot of different seafoods that have healthy omega-3 fatty acids. So for example, squid, uh, calamari actually has it. Octopus has it. A lot of clams, if, you ever, if you're a shellfish lover, clams also have it. Manila clams actually have a lot. Um, of a healthy omega-3s uh, worth uh, checking out as well. You could probably take an omega-3 supplement if you don't like fish or you don't can't get it. Um, uh, but by the way, here's another little kind of practical tip for um, uh, your, your uh, viewers and listeners is that basically frozen seafood, which you can find almost anywhere, you can have it shipped to you. Flash frozen seafood is usually caught on a boat, thrown into a flash freezer and that also traps all those omega, uh, omega 3s so i wrote a book called eat to beat disease it's got tables and charts of seafoods that ha have high levels of omega-3 fatty acids so just in case you wanted to go beyond the tuna and the salmon because you're sick of tuna and salmon there's a whole variety of other seafoods and if you don't if you don't eat fish you're uh, if, you know if you're a vegan you can actually also get omega 3s from uh, tree nuts, chia seeds, uh, uh, those kinds of uh, 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 plant-based sources of healthy omega-3s as well. That was a fascinating segment on omega-3s. Dr. William Lee's insights into seafood and vegan sources of these essential fatty acids are invaluable. Omega-3s are critical for maintaining skin hydration, reducing inflammation, and even protecting against sun damage. Whether you're getting them from fish like salmon and mackerel or plant-based sources like flax seeds and chia seeds, these nutrients are essential for achieving and maintaining healthy, resilient skin. I love seafood! Omega-3 fatty acids not only support the skin's lipid barrier, locking in moisture and keeping irritants out, but they also help in reducing redness and acne by balancing the skin's oil production. These benefits make omega-3s a powerful component of any skincare diet. Next in our bonus section, we turn to an unexpected ally in the quest for better skin, coffee. Yes, coffee isn't just for your morning boost. Dr. Lee will now delve into how specific compounds in coffee can protect and improve your skin's health, with a particular focus on skin psoriasis. These benefits extend to overall skin health and anti-aging as well, revealing yet another delicious way to support your skin from the inside out. Let's dive into the world of coffee and discover how your daily cup could be contributing to your skin's well-being. Another food, by the way, that has been shown by researchers to reduce the severity of psoriasis is coffee. Coffee can reduce the severity. Now, why? Why do we think that is? Because coffee also contains these um, polyphenols. One of them is called chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid is actually, I mean, coffee is plant-based, right? It comes from the coffee bean, from the coffee plant. And uh, chlorogenic acid is actually a natural insecticide. And so if you, um, uh, and that's why the plant, one of the reasons the plant makes this, when you have coffee, uh, you're, you're, you're drinking some of this chlorogenic acid that's found in the seed, um, the bean, and it absorbs in your body and you get 
lower inflammation. And so uh, this has been studied. You can drink anywhere up to about three cups of coffee a day and you can get this anti-inflammatory effect. What's interesting is at least one study has actually looked at people who drink tons of coffee, like lots and lots of coffee, like four, 10 cups of, and when you kind of go beyond three cups of coffee, it becomes less clear whether it's beneficial for psoriasis. So sort of anywhere up to three cups, like drinking nothing uh, isn't as good for you as drinking some coffee. Drinking some coffee, drink up, have up to three cups of coffee a day, totally fine. If you go more than that, we're not really sure if it's actually so good for psoriasis. Dr. Lee has highlighted the skin health benefits of coffee and provided the recommended daily amount for maximum impact. Incorporating coffee into your diet can be a simple and effective way to boost skin health, particularly for conditions like psoriasis. Coffee. Black. Now, let's recap the key elements of a diet that supports vibrant, healthy skin. Starting with watermelon, which offers protection from UV rays, followed by omega-3 rich seafood and vegan options that provide essential fatty acids for skin nourishment. Ivu, with its potent antioxidants, also contributes to skin protection. Finally, coffee, when consumed in moderation, offers additional protective benefits. Together, these foods create a powerful regimen for maintaining healthy, glowing skin. Dr. William Lee is a prominent physician, scientist, and author known for his pioneering work in the field of angiogenesis, which is the process through which new blood vessels form from pre-existing ones. His research spans various aspects of health and disease prevention, with a particular focus on how diet and specific foods can influence health outcomes. Dr. Lee is the author of the best-selling book Eat to Beat Disease, where he explores the profound impact of food on the body's natural defense systems. In relation to skin health, Dr. Lee's research delves into how certain foods can promote skin health, slow down aging, and even protect against various skin conditions. His approach emphasizes the role of diet in regulating inflammation, enhancing skin barrier function, and supporting the skin's microbiome, which are all critical factors in maintaining healthy skin. Briefly, here are five key areas of Dr. Lee's research on foods and skin health. Let's keep it simple. One, chronic inflammation is a significant contributor to skin aging and various skin disorders such as acne, eczema, and psoriasis. Dr. Lee advocates for the consumption of anti-inflammatory foods like fatty fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids for example salmon, berries high in antioxidants, and leafy green vegetables. These foods help reduce systemic inflammation and, consequently, improve skin health. 2. Foods high in antioxidants play a crucial role in combating oxidative stress, a major factor in skin aging and damage. Dr. Lee highlights the importance of consuming fruits and vegetables such as tomatoes, carrots, and citrus fruits, which are rich in vitamins C and E, carotenoids, and polyphenols. These antioxidants help neutralize free radicals, protecting the skin from premature aging and environmental damage. 3. Proper hydration is essential for maintaining skin elasticity and preventing dryness. Dr. Lee emphasizes the importance of consuming water-rich foods like cucumbers, melons, and oranges, which can contribute to overall hydration and help keep the skin supple and smooth. 4. The skin microbiome, which consists of a diverse community of microorganisms, plays a vital role in protecting against pathogens and Dr. Lee's research suggests that prebiotic and probiotic foods, such as yogurt, kefir, and fermented vegetables, can support a healthy skin microbiome thereby enhancing the skin's natural defense mechanisms. 5. Collagen is a structural protein critical for maintaining skin firmness and elasticity. Dr. Lee points to foods that support collagen production, such as bone broth, citrus fruits for their vitamin C content, and soy products, which contain genistein, an isoflavone that can help preserve collagen. He moves beyond traditional spot treatments by advocating for a holistic approach. His research shows that incorporating a variety of nutrient-dense foods rich in antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds, and gut-friendly microbes offers a comprehensive strategy for achieving optimal skin health. From slowing the signs of aging to protecting against skin disorders, Dr. Lee's work bridges the gap between dermatology and nutritional science, demonstrating the significant impact diet has on achieving a healthy, radiant complexion. Please consider giving us a thumbs up sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness.
Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.